Okay, gather parts and tools. We're using Subaru parts to do this job. And replace the three idlers, the thermostat and gasket, the timing belt, and the water pump. We're going to do this. We need another special tool, and this is the only special tool we're going to use. It's going to hold the pulley down while we remove the crankshaft bolt. Disconnect the battery first. Okay, but we're going to start by uh, popping the hood here and taking off a couple of guards or a guard here in the air intake and just lift off the panel fasteners. There's two for each one. Pull them up a little ways and you can pull them all pull them all the way out. It's only like a quarter inch is while you lift it. Follow the same procedure on the air intake so you can get that up and out of the way. We need to drain the coolant and to do that we have to take this engine undercover panel off. A variety of panel fasteners come off. And then we're going to open up this lower radiator hose to drain the coolant. So we're getting in there now with some pliers. Once you get it turned, you should be able to... Out with the old and there's going to be new put in. Okay, we're taking the fans out of the way. Okay, it's going to be a big help and simple to do to get this upper radiator hose out of the way. So just remove the clamp at the radiator and in a similar fashion the clamp where it comes into the engine. Which is getting in our way, causing irritation. Now with a 15 millimeter socket and breaker bar, turn the tensioner downward until there's enough slack in the belt to pull off the serpentine belt. Remove the coolant overflow bottle. There's a little tab over here on the side. They just push it in and pull it up and of course pull the hose out. And the second fan. There is a hose underneath this um, driver's side fan that is kind of routed through the bottom of the fan. So there it's out now. Then they will simply lift out. I have to unplug it though. Down here. Let's take off three of these bracket screws, bolts. Appear to be 15 millimeter here, here, and here. Call that the wishbone. Yeah. It's probably torqued. You have two of them are simply holding the two pieces together. Don't worry about supporting the engine when you take this out because it doesn't do the job. That's done right down there by that engine mount. And out it comes. All three of these uh, 15 millimeter bolts are the same length. We'll take these two fast, these two electrical connectors, and disconnect them here. And there's the tool we're going to use to hold the, the pulley. It's already been set up with an adapter that'll fit the four holes that are in the pulley. So then it's off angle a little bit. I can take the air box thing off. Why don't I do that? That's easy enough to do. We're going to take the air box out of the way so this thing can sit perfect right angle here. Otherwise, we have to have somebody out one one of us hold it, which could be a challenge. There's a little ten millimeter there. without taking the box out, just unbolting it. We have enough room now to get our, our holding tool at a perfect right angle. All right. We've got a 24 inch breaker bar now. Yeah, there it is. That's the sound you like to hear. So 
we just rocked it, rocked it. Didn't take long, maybe five minutes of play with it. Three 10 millimeters. One down here underneath. And one down here on the right. And this larger cover on the passenger side has more bolts. I believe it's 11. Okay, these bolts all have shoulders on them. They all seem to be the same so far. That's all of them. Oh, there's one left. And he's got one more. I can get some really cool angles. Always good to keep everything organized. And there's one way down low down there. And there's another down low. That one's different. Oh, that one's different. And this one's different, so we're gonna put these in their slots. Something is still retaining it. Just to the left of that engine mount, there's one more. Looks like a gasket or something is sticking here. There. Alright, there it comes. So this would be the location of the one that has no, no shoulder. The rest of them do. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, stay tuned. Here's a scene from part two where we're going to remove and install the timing belt, three of the idlers, and the water pump. Thanks for watching.